Vani uh, will will be guiding us through uh, today's uh, the first half of today's session, and he will be telling us more about like uh, uh, in the previous session we have already discussed with you that we run this program, this course ESD, uh, with in collaboration with uh, the very prestigious Vadwani Foundation. And uh, and I have shared with you the uh, the contributions of Vadwani Foundation and also uh, Dr. Ramesh Vadwani, and how grateful we are to the to the organization for helping us in developing the entrepreneurial ecosystem uh, in our campus. And uh, we also we also run a startup club uh, in, uh, in 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 collaboration with Vadwani Foundation, and uh, this has been a great experience. As far as I am concerned, I am one of the beneficiaries of the great work of Vadwani Foundation and uh, I really thoroughly enjoyed being uh, in all the sessions in, in FDP programs and being part of the global jury and all. So it, has be, it is my great fortune that uh, we, we, are, uh, we have uh, Mr. Jivani today with us. So he will be guiding us uh, and giving us an orientation about uh, me. And uh, so over to you, sir. So the... Uh, the way you want to take it forward. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you so much for the introduction, Professor. And a very good good afternoon uh, to all the students. And uh, uh, what I'll do is I'll share a quick presentation with you so that you have links about what the foundation is about and how we are going to do the course forward. And maybe after that, uh, uh, I'll just make it a short presentation. And after that, you have any questions, we can just discuss that and we can, we can, uh, we can do that. Uh, so first of all, uh, what is Vadwani Foundation and what is NEN? So Vadwani Foundation is the company under which there are a couple of verticals, uh, which I'll just talk about in the presentation. And uh, as a part of it, uh, there is NEN, which is National Entrepreneurship Network, uh, which is where the main goal is empowering students with knowledge and skills to create high potential startups, which you all are going to create and uh, which all uh, your seniors already have been created and they are in their journey. So uh, let's get to know about Vadwani Foundation. First, Vadwani Foundation is there to create uh, jobs in the developing economies. So we have presence in uh, India, Latin America, Southeast Africa, uh, Philippines, and all of, like to name a few. Uh, so we are offering this kind of courses over there in the in the, in the universities, in the colleges, and in incubators and all. Uh, and under Vadwani Foundation, there is uh, this Vadwani Entrepreneur, which comes in, under which there is an NEN, which entrepreneurship network where we all are been a part of, uh, which is more uh, inclined towards inspiring, educating and enabling entrepreneurs uh, so that uh, during your startup, during your student journey in the college or university, you can also create something of your own uh, and you can talk on your own venture. So how we do it, that we, we offer courses. So one is a uh, foundation course and one is advanced course. So you can say that uh, one is basic and one is the advanced one. So we'll start with the foundation course at this point of time. And maybe uh, in the next semester, uh, you can go with the advanced course. So uh, uh, and over above it, uh, we, we provide 360 degree support to, uh, to, to, to help the startups grow in terms of raising funds, in terms of meeting, uh, uh, meeting mentoring uh, the uh, mentors, uh, subject experts, or professors, wherever you are stuck, uh, also to get, uh, also by helping you uh, onboarding few of the service providers that you require. Maybe we have a couple of service providers already registered with us from Amazon, which provides free $10,000 uh, of credit uh, for the hosting and all of these. So that we, we help, we actually want our students' startup journey to be very easy uh, so that uh, they can climb the ladder very fast in their journey. And now the fifth, which is the most important point, that is what is in for the student, uh, why a student should take this course and what it will be benefiting you. So that will first understand. So we'll just take an uh, uh, example of three, uh, three persons kind of persona kind of thing. So one is Soumya. She says that I want to start my own business startup immediately after engineering or MBA. So this is a, a common perspective of students that comes in uh, on the way that they, they actually want to do something of their own or do a startup or a business, but they, are, they don't know when is the right time to get into it. Another is Farooq. He says that I'm not interested in startup. I want to climb the uh, ladder, corporate ladder and re reach senior position quickly, which is also true, which is also a common thing which comes uh, uh, in the student's mind when they're in university. And third is uh, Swati. She says that I will work for four, five years, maybe 
do a masters or phd and then think about starting off something of my own startup so these all three uh, things that comes in uh, mind of a student is very common and that all we have seen so now we'll see that how wadwani foundation entrepreneurs any and program will help you address all the three so there is everything for all of the three in this course so it is a no brainer thing uh, where uh, where everything will be taught on a learn wise and uh, you just have to you just have to uh, incl- uh, you just have to incorporate those things and you have to move your journey forward we we know that 90% startups do fail uh, which is which is again true but now we have seen that the things that you use or you are addicted to is mostly startups uh, maybe you 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 talk about zomato you talk about uber you talk about instagram all of those things is something which is which has come from a problem has been identified and over above it a solution has been built right so uh, uh, that is something which is a startup all about to uh, uh, now for swarup what is it that uh, swarup gets an entrepreneurship skill which is a new new term which is always required in all the companies because now the companies don't function in a traditional manner they want something uh, which is out of the box uh, they want a person who thinks out of the box and uh, bring some transformation some changes in the company so that the company actually climbs on the ladder and once the company actually climbs on the ladder then only the employees get to climb the ladder we all know that that if you earn uh, if you get if you help the company earn 5 fi- uh, lakh rupees then the company will pay you 50000 rupees so that, that's how the metric look like so for that you have to have the entrepreneurship skill among you which all the cxos and all of them have and for swati it is a mix and match because she is not sure what to do so maybe if she if she learns this thing at this age it might help her later maybe not immediately then later of course she will be helped from this thing and what are the other benefits from this so it gives you the skill of building a business and making money so what uh, what we ask over here is not to build a uber or zomato or some multi billionaire business to start with it can be as small as starting a small stationery shop at your college or starting a a designer a boutique kind of thing among your region or near your region so it is as simple as that what you can achieve and what looks feasible for you to do because you also have to see that what strengths do you have and what you can do as an individual or a team uh, to solve the problem of the society the another part is that it provides you experience of mini mba because all the terms you see over here uh, the it, it, it all has a touch and feel of the management uh, thing uh, which will be uh, in the learn wise course uh, the great part over here is that you also get to have an international jury certificate uh, certification which just professor talked about that he is also a part of it and he is a global jury who actually evaluates the practice ventures on our platform for you noodle so how it uh, how the journey looks over here is that if you if you take the course really well if you do it in a nice manner then and and if you score about 80% in the score then you make a plat um, then you make a place uh, in the global jury then there are people across globe who evaluates your venture and if it, if the venture again scores above 80% then you get an international jury certification from wadwani foundation side stating that this venture has great potential and it can do wonders so this is a certification which is very worthy and it has a lot of value uh, to add on to your cv so uh, a super cool resume point over here uh, why is it important all of your uh, if you see lot of mbas lot of bcom or lot of bachelors or masters degree uh, they, uh, they they seek for job and they all have done the same thing that they have completed the project report in xyz company they have done this they have done this so the resume looks similar to each of them but if you have gone through this course where you actually start something of your own you you earn something you test whether you are uh, you, 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 you can be a entrepreneur or you can be a, a businessman or are you a good team player how you can lead the team all the things which you have to actually pursue over here can 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 add a lot of value in your journey so it is it is a it is a kind of feel that whether entrepreneurship is your cup of tea or not in the in, in the end of the course so that is the main point so uh, the 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 key person behind uh, the main the mastermind behind this this uh, this whole foundation is dr ramesh wadwani he is a founder and chair person of uh, of wadwani foundation he is a silicon valley and entrepreneur and philanthropist 
he has built nearly 42 companies so far and have also exited few of them and uh, uh, he 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 actually committed a lot of money uh, for the sake of creating entrepreneurs and helping them to uh, helping them to create job for others so that the the economy looks sustainable in the in the near future uh, he was also been uh, awarded with the padma shri in the year 2020 he 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 was also been appointed by uh, president obama to the board of trustees of john kerry center and lot of things he is also a founder and chairman of advani foundation as well as symphony ai which is the parent uh, parent company uh, of uh, advani foundation so uh, over here we uh, talked about that advani advani uh, foundation has couple of uh, initiatives so one is Vadwani Entrepreneur, one is Vadwani Advantage, Vadwani Opportunity, Vadwani Innovate. So all of the other initiatives work. So some of them works with uh, closely with the SMEs, which we call small and medium scale businesses. Some of them actually works to help the, uh, the, the students to support their small family businesses so that their students can help uh, earn some income uh, and support their family uh, and, and from the economic points of, point of view. So uh, the main goal over here, uh, the mission is to accelerate, accelerating economic development in emerging economies through large scale uh, job creation. So creating jobs is something which is the key focus of Advani Foundation. And uh, the next thing is that changing lives through creating high value jobs and empowering individuals to command those jobs. Because now we see that you, you become someone that creates job for others and you don't seek job yourself at the end of your program or course. And uh, in the end, you also uh, you also make a great impact in the society through technology network partnerships uh, that we have already across Asia, Africa, and Latin America. So this is N E M. You you learn from LearnWise. Your professor will teach you all of these things. You practice. You start something of your own, and then you grow. Um, so this is the whole thing that we have in mind, and we follow lean methodology where we just don't follow that. We don't want that. You just uh, learn through theoretical uh, things and you don't apply those. We want you to learn something and apply those in your startup. You fail, you succeed and we are happy with that. And of course, wherever you require support, we are there to help you. So as I mentioned that we are there in India, Southeast Asia, we are there in Latin America, Egypt, East uh, Africa and South uh, Southern Africa. So there are places where Vadwani Foundation has its pillars and it is doing great job with the universities and uh, the incubators and institutes. So learning while doing that is something that we have already told you that there are sessions which will be taught and uh, after uh, completing a couple of sessions, you have to submit uh, milestones, which is the presentation, which will be already given to you over the uh, platform called LearnWise. You can download the presentations uh, template from there. You just fill in about your startup, uh, or your startup idea. It can be as small as that you take customer interviews, to identify a real problem, you again go uh, go to a startup, work on that, fail. If not fail, then succeed and earn a bit of money during your college days. So this is the whole thing that we are looking for in the three or four months journey. So over here we are, we are in the orientation and diagnostic tool. After that, you will go through a foundation course. Uh, in the next semester, you'll go through an advanced course and then to the Vardwani Foundation platform where uh, we'll help you with the advisory life cycle or connects that you require or any other thing that you require to, to actually grow in your journey as a startup. So uh, practice venture is something that you create that you already have created. I was just having a word with a uh, professor and he just mentioned that you have already created the uh, practice ventures. Then you select your PV, which can be a real, real potential venture. Uh, we are there to support you. We'll, we'll conduct few of the interventions. We'll conduct booster clinics uh, to help you. We'll kind of, kind of, like it will be a kind of feedback sessions that will that you will just show your your presentation, and in the end, we'll give you some few of the feedbacks if there are any. So the whole journey when it starts uh, and till the end, what we expect from you is uh, just four milestone presentations, which are built uh, one on top of another. Like once you submit M1. In M2, there are a few things which will be added. So just to, to give you an example, in M1 presentation, it will ask about what is the problem that you had identified, uh, how you identified the problem. Maybe you circulated for some Google forms or something that you have to already, you have to put in the images of the graphs and all of those. So, and uh, then 
how you are going to solve the problem what is the solution that you have thought of initially in your mind to solve the problem that you identified and the second uh, and the second milestone it can be really proposition canvas which will be taught lean canvas which uh, is this model canvas so this all are the aspects which are actually needed to start a real venture uh, will be covered uh, for you in the practice real venture uh, the course is offered so we'll just have a look at the video over there you uh, most of the questions will be covered uh, for you is it audible uh, no 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 okay let me just give me one i just stop sharing now is it audible what is life okay yes what is life without a dream and what good is a dream if you don't pursue it if your dream is to start something on your own something that can change the world your world then you could or rather you should explore entrepreneurship the foundational and advanced courses in entrepreneurship prepare you for just this these courses help you to think and behave like an entrepreneur learn the necessary concepts tools and skills required to set up a venture give you some real world exposure through master classes from experts and some day trips where you get to interact with upcoming startup entrepreneurs and watch them in action and last but not least get your hands dirty form a team and actually build a practice venture as you progress through the course who knows this practice venture may have the potential to become a real venture tomorrow However, building a venture or a business is not easy. You are bound to encounter some risks such as product risks, customer risks, or solution risks. For example, you might go down a path and build something that no one wants to buy. It happens all the time. How can you avoid that? The logical answer is to test what you build with your customers and learn from it, right? In fact, there are many aspects to a business and they all have to work together to help you make money. Now, imagine a single simple tool or format that brings together all aspects of your business like customer, cost, revenues, and helps you visualize how you will make money. This is called the business model. You will use your business model to build, measure, test, and learn all critical aspects of the venture even while you are building your venture. And this is what is called the lean approach. And the simple one-page format that you will use to capture your business model is called the lean canvas. Both the foundational and advanced courses are anchored around the lean canvas and the lean approach to entrepreneurship. The foundational course will help you discover what makes you tick, your entrepreneurial style, strengths and resources using effectuation principles and the 125M model. Here you will learn all about opportunity discovery, identifying the problem and discovering your customers. Once done, you will move to the validation process by creating and testing a solution demo and following it up with an MVP and validating it with customers. Along the way, you will cover several other important entrepreneurial milestones like identifying costs, revenues, and funding sources, building a team, learning marketing and sales techniques. In the advanced course, things get a little more intense. If the theme for the foundational course was creating the business model, the theme for the advanced course is building a sustainable business model. You start with learning how to pivot and revisiting your business model. You also look for growth opportunities in the customer segments, in the channels, and in the other blocks of the business model. Once identified, you need to validate these new opportunities. In the process, you will make your own finance, sales, ops, hiring, and technology plans. 
All this information will help you create your business pitch. You will also learn about potential showstoppers, such as legal compliances and registrations. If you are wondering how you will manage to cover this seemingly endless journey, don't worry. The foundational and the advanced courses are divided into smaller, easy to consume lessons. Each lesson has lots of activities, which your facilitator will help you complete. There are also videos that help you understand the various entrepreneurship concepts covered in the lessons. It is a good idea to watch the videos before the class. You will also get the opportunity to visit and interact with some startup entrepreneurs so that you get a first-hand feel of the startup world. At the end of every lesson is a small quiz, which is optional, and there are milestone tasks and milestone presentations at critical points in the course. The milestone tasks lead up to the respective milestones. Milestone presentations are evaluated. Last but not least, both courses end with the final PV presentation. At the end of both the foundational and the advanced course, you will present your practice venture. For more details, feel free to reach out to your facilitator and get ready to start exploring entrepreneurship. Have fun! So yeah, I think we are done with the presentation. Uh, if you have any students, if you have any questions or anything to discuss or anything that you have in your mind, that why is it important for you, what is it going to benefit you, what you will learn from it and all of those. Yes, if you have any doubts, queries regarding anything, you may please unmute yourself and uh, ask the question. Hello, excuse me, sir. Yes. Am I audible? Yes. yes. So I have a question. Yeah, yeah please ask. So uh, I'm asking, like, uh, uh, like uh, this foundation, if uh, the, the our practice venture is good enough, so would be there be availability of funding, like uh, capital, uh, like uh, venture uh, funds? So that's what I mentioned that uh, Vadwani Foundation don't fund it. But what we help is that after uh, the, the journey, if you feel that you are ready to raise funds and you would like to have, uh, you, you would need some contacts or connects with the investors. Of course, we have another team who would support you in that to get the connects uh, and make your process easy. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So just one thing that why is it very important in the student's journey is that uh, once you are graduated from the college, that's when you have an opportunity cost in your hand uh, because either you have to take a job or either you have to start something of your own. If you take a job, then you will be missing out your, your dream of starting something of your own. And if, if you start something of your own, then you have an opportunity cost at your hand that the salary you will be, you would be earning, that is something which is missed out. So if you start now, uh, of course, uh, with, with the college, it is a part of your, it is a part of your course. So it will be very easy for you, uh, in, in, in the three or four months, you'll be able to understand that whether what kind of business you want to start some, uh, uh, and, uh, if you actually, if it starts well, then uh, you always have the, uh, you will always have that thought that once you are graduated, that's when you will be having an up and running business among uh, like with you. So that's the thing that we have seen uh, from our journey uh, uh, as a uh, as a foundation that there are lots of students who pass out and they already have a two year business with them. So they, they just run that and successfully. It's a very, very valid point. In fact, uh, one of the major USPs of this course is that uh, even before, because you know, uh, right now you don't have to like take a lot of risks. Uh, once say for example you are in a job or you are out of the college environment there you the responsibility on your shoulders will be very different and maybe more and at that time taking a risk uh, of this sort will entail some courage and will entail a lot of support from others so why not uh, prove uh, uh, whether what is the worth of your uh, business right there uh, during the course of your uh, MBA journey and establish yourself uh, as an entrepreneur, as a learner, 
and then maybe uh, the less mistakes we make the better entrepreneur we become in the long run but uh, maybe we will all have to we will all have to make mistakes to learn uh, but uh, if the cost of that mistakes uh, can be managed somehow i think nothing uh, like it so that's what very, very true part is yeah any any questions any other uh, like uh, from mr jivani is he still here with you and of course we are going to meet in uh, we are going to meet in and out uh, whenever we have a we have an intervention plan so before every milestone up, uh, you will be uploading i'll be there uh, with your professor to just have a look around the uh, the, the presentations so that time also we can discuss uh, if you have any doubts or something to discuss if not now it's completely fine so there are there are going to be in this course there are going to be four milestones and uh, these are compulsory milestones these are uh, for and for each milestone there are some tasks so say for example you can you go through a lesson you look at the video and you back do uh, some exercise among yourself then you have to do that task and that task basically builds up to a milestone so that's called milestone tasks okay so there will be four milestone and each milestone will have a presentation so there is a format for that presentation which i will share with you we all now have access to the uh, learnwise mm -hmm. you have joined learnwise and but however when you still if, if you have not formed the or joined your practice venture which i was just now having a look at a lot of people have joined but they have not joined their practice venture uh so so that the process have to be completed to access all of these things and once you do that you will find that there is a template and all so it has become it has been made very easy for you some part have been made very easy how would i'll say that logistics part have been made very easy for you okay so like for example you don't have to search for a concept and all so whatever concept you need for entrepreneurship to understand anything there is this learn wise the videos are there you want to do something there is an exercise practice something however doing is everything once yeah. you start doing it yourself i am not going to do it for you mr jivani will not be doing for it for you you will have to do it yourself and once you start doing it you start practicing you start making mistakes you start learning from them and then put all of these things together in a presentation in that that's what investors that's what uh, jury members for business plan competitions that's what they are looking for so a ready made pitch which has been given to you you just have to connect the dots yeah also the presentations the milestones that you create is something that is of your idea you think that that idea really makes sense at this point for you to take it forward so as i mentioned that it, it doesn't have to be a zomato kind of thing or red bus thing it can be a smallest stationery shop at your college or at your, in your area so whatever you feel you have to build the whole journey of 3 months 4 months into that so uh, it is not something that we tell you you have to work on that you don't have any clarity about it so you choose your idea and the and the, the amount of clarity on that idea the one that you will have no no other person will have that thing right so you will be your own boss on that and we'll just have uh, whatever we give you as a part of the feedback is something which is from the concept part but as a startup founder thing or from your logistics point of view or operational point of view you are the one person who has great concept clarity about your idea and how to take it forward because you have studied the market you have done the customer interviews you think that this idea really makes sense at this point of time to solve and make money from yeah. you, Ambas, there is, you want to ask something please go ahead yes sir so i want to know that vadwani foundation is uh, providing a lot to the students but uh, why are they doing all this uh, what advantage they are getting from this so a brilliant question uh, yeah uh, uh, mohammed so the thing is that as, as i mentioned that uh, vadwani foundation uh, is a not for profit company so uh, romesh vadwani started this company as a philanthropic organization where, where from where he is looking for nothing uh, he actually wants uh, he actually have uh, started nearly 42 43 ventures in his journey as i mentioned in his introduction and he exited from it uh, so the amount of profit he got in he actually thought that it has to be invested in uh, uh, he, there is always a feeling of giving back to the society uh, uh, within you so uh, through this medium he he has actually started this organization uh, like since from uh, from the year 2000 and it's up and well running um, the the term startup entrepreneurship has been used from 2000 
uh, in Vardhani Foundation, which was a which was a boom in the year to, uh, after 2015 or 16, when all the startups and grants and government supports and all of this this came. But uh, it is it is a not for profit company. We are not looking anything from the the students or the or the college. It is just that we want to actually prepare you so that you can give a couple of jobs to your fellow colleagues or in the society. So let me add to this. Add to this uh, uh, because uh, you know, uh, like uh, like in the in the presentation, you must have seen when there was a profile of uh, Dr. Ramesh Padwani. It was mentioned that he is part of uh, uh, Warren Buffet and Bill Gates that pledge, the philanthropy pledge, which is there, which uh, they called for all the billionaires in the world to come forward and donate their wealth for some cause. So, like for example, Bill Bill Gates is doing it through Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Oh, Azim Premji is doing through Azim Premji Foundation and Azim Premji University. So, similarly, Vadwan, uh, uh, Ramesh Vadwani decided that the the area where he will invest and here where he will make the contribution is to create more entrepreneurs, and that's what his uh, his his eternal uh, dream is. Always, whenever he you look at his videos, his his. He always wants that entrepreneurial spirit, and uh, to be to be like uh, to be in the in the young minds of, of this country, and not just the, not just India, but today he's a global citizen, so he is looking at it globally. But that's what his intention has been. And one of the very interesting things about Ramesh Badwani is that if you look at his career, he has never done a job. Yes, right, right from his IIT Bombay when he was right from IIT he started Bombay. his first venture was. Starting a canteen in IIT Bombay. Very and, true. And from there, you look at these very inspiring uh, stories of uh, Ramesh Balwani and a lot of failures. And he has learned and built over those failures. He went to US and did his PhD also, and straight away started his company. He never worked for anyone. So, uh, true, true. so, so that's, that's what the spirit he wants to bring into the young minds of this country. That's that's what his dream is. True. Yeah. Any question? Any anyone else? Okay. No problem, students. It was nice to meet you. Uh, thank you so much, Professor, for this. And of course, we'll be uh, we'll be doing uh, a few other other meetings as well in the coming in the coming time. Yeah. Just so, one more thing which I want to add uh, in, uh, before Mr. Jivani leaves. So what we what this whole journey is about that there is foundation course and there is an advanced course which is like an elective for you which is called ESBM Entrepreneurship and Small Business Management for in the fine in the in the third semester and international business uh, international entrepreneurship for IB students that's the same advanced course of Advani Foundation okay so that we will have in the third semester if you complete this journey properly if you Do the journey properly, and there is a chance that if you score good, um, and the scoring again, it is not a theoretical like you cram something and you you score on your practical things which you actually do on ground. So your scores will be on that, and if you score eighty percent, you will get a chance to register yourself in a international competition. Basically, it's a U Noodle. Uh, U Noodle platform has been developed for this where. All the people from all of these places, like Latin America, Egypt, MENA region, Philippines, India, they upload. The students which are selected, they upload their final PV presentation which they give on that platform with a video of explaining and all these things and other things if they if they want to. So there's a chance, and the global jury is assigned that so to assess them. And you you get a if you if you get selected it's finally you get a global uh, jury certificate and that is uh, it's a valid it's kind of a validation once say for example you go for any business plan competition you go for any funding round to pitching in front of investors it's kind of a very valuable uh, certificate for you to showcase that my startup my idea has already been validated by so and so experts very true. So and internationally, sir. Yes. Sir, can I ask any other question, sir? Yes, please. Uh, sir, sir, my question is uh, to Mr. Zigar uh, Jiwani, sir. So, uh, so could you uh, provide us with a few names uh, who are you know successfully uh, done uh, uh, become a company uh, through this foundation? Uh, we can learn from those. 
so uh, uh, i don't uh, so see i recently joined the foundation there are two three examples in front of me that has been featured in uh, uh, the, uh, they they raised some money from 100x vc and uh, they they are featured in few of the news channels and all of those uh, one is suraj one is kushal so these are few of the students that i know uh, they have just came uh, in uh, to my journey in, like from from in last 3 months that they have uh, been uh, been awarded on all of these and they have raised money if you talk about global jury certification uh, more than 50 students have got that so uh, we we really work with large chunk of students of nearly 1000 1500 students so actually we don't remember the names and pv names But these are few of the names okay. like which was been featured by CNBC News and NT News eighteen and all of those because he was doing something in the solar region and all of the yeah. Suraj and Kushal sir, thank you very much. Sure. In fact, yes. uh, there are there are a lot of startups uh, from this platform because you know uh, uh, last time uh, Practo is one. Uh, like I I shared with you, Siddharth. Siddharth was a, one of the very early recipient of this course. very early participant of this course of badwani foundation siddhartha when he was in uh, his uh, uh, in his college and then he started practo and today practo you know is a very big company it's a, it's a brilliant platform and similarly there are lot of others also in between so just just to name one of it so there is a company called urban naps he uh, jainam is the one person uh, who whom i taught uh, i was also trained faculty during my nid period that's when we ran this business now that uh, they they are providing sleeping pods uh, napping pods and now that uh, pods uh, is is there in amdavad uh, international airport uh, which has been now taken by adani taken over by adani so now he'll be expanding his uh, napping pods to mumbai airports and all of those places so these are the few people who have been uh, through this journey thank you there a lot of inspiration out yeah, there yeah yes 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 of course And and students, uh, we are not there uh, for your data or student uh, or something. Even if you get successful, we won't showcase you until unless you give a green signal from your side that okay, you can publish our things. So uh, you uh, there is a fear somewhere in the student's mind that what if my IP got uh, uh, got stolen or maybe ये चोरी हो जाएगा तो my idea will be leaked or something. So this is something which is a common question which comes in from the student side. We see nearly two thousand three thousand ideas a year, so we don't have. that thing and we are not for that to be honest we are not for profit and we actually don't, don't have into uh, in, in, in all of those in our minds so even once uh, one college james kalkar ji uh, there are five uh, five groups who have made through global jury we actually send out them a google form that are you okay if you use your uh, use your idea to showcase so that others get inspired from it and you are creating a great impact on the society so can you feature can we feature you on our social media platforms and all of it if they say yes then only it makes sense and that then only we go ahead so we are uh, we, we take that consent also from the students and we never uh, showcase your idea anywhere to anyone yeah thank you i think uh, the, there's a lot of doubt sometimes in the mind of the student yes. and uh, so this uh, this kind of diet but uh, there are other actually explanations for this also uh, like uh, the idea is worth nothing if uh, if it is an idea unless you really transform it into something workable and people start using it because you know the idea of a search engine was there before even google started and it was already there a lot of big companies the idea of a social network was already there uh, when facebook started so there is nothing uh, but you know only there is one mark zuckerberg there is the only you entrepreneurs who really turn that into so at any given point of time the the kind of idea we have in our mind there are around uh, i think 8 uh, 8 or 10 people in the world must be must, must, at least they must be having the same kind of idea okay. very true but how many of them really make it through so do not be, get afraid about all of these things at this stage and uh, <laughs> Uh, I hope I hope you turn that into really something that uh, people envy. At that stage, you you can like okay, you can be paranoid about your idea getting uh, stolen or something. Yeah, yeah. Not at this stage. Okay, this is a stage true. where you need to explore. Very true. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. So I, I think we have taken a lot of time for Mr. Jivani because uh, he had agreed for thirty minutes. So. <laughs> no problem. No problem. it was nice to discuss this things with the students and of course love to be a part of a discussion with them so thank you so much students thank you so much professor
Yeah. Uh, we'll connect soon. Looking forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, so I guess uh, this was a nice orientation for you, and. Um, i hope uh, if there are any more questions regarding anything any of your concerns you may ask us i think uh, dr lame have you joined lame sir okay lame sir joined but i think there is some issue all right so i have a doubt regarding the quiz yes sir we have have to do it like the, the whole team or individually we have to perform the quiz like the only quiz part quiz 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 is individual presentation we have to do it too no presentation everything else is joined see everything else all the exercises you do as a team you you prepare your presentation as a team now uh, now uh, one one more one more thing you may come back to me that one person is not contributing in my team okay i am going so do not creep about this because this is this is this is life we are giving you a real life experience so what happens in life see the fingers in in our hand are not equal so no two people will make the same kind of contribution and sometimes we have to basically also carry some people on our back so that is an experience you will be getting so manage this manage this team problem yourself okay how to get the others motivated to work on your idea that i think uh, and how to get others excited and like uh, so there will be people so that that's a life experience and in fact when you will go in industry also if you if you go for jobs also you will find that in teams not everyone is a good contributor to a team meeting or team exercise or team or team work there will be people who will be high performers there will be low performers so this this is how you have to learn because that's why this this team experience is very very important because you don't make companies um by a, by by uh, uh, having an equal uh, contribution to some people will make better contributions and they will emerge at emerge out as as better learners or better implementers and try to understand what are the strengths of your team members and that's what uh, i'm going to uh, show it to you that how you are going to do it so now what, let me just uh, come back to the um, class uh, yes uh, subhya you have a question um, yes sir i wanted to ask like how can we carry out things like the on ground activities of the venture if uh, one team member is in, uh, like another place and other two are in see uh, there is a challenge i understand that there is a challenge but uh, i don't see that it's an impossibility that we cannot do it uh, right now as far as collaboration is concerned we can do it online we are doing it all the world is like doing business online today so you have your google meet you have your zoom subs 40 minute zoom free subscriptions every one of you have it so that is why what you will do all the exercises all the discussions you can do it online okay can even whatsapp calls and all these things there will be some things uh, which you can uh, for example there is a one member is situated at one place so that member can do a practical thing there the other member can do practical things there on the ground so I, or talking to people like for example today uh, when we are say interviewing people interviewing our customers or taking the feedback and all these things we are primarily doing it online so we have to navigate this and in fact there are a lot of companies today which have been formed during this pandemic there are a lot of examples of startups uh, uh, i think i shared link i i'll share that link there are a lot of examples of how people have collaborated online purely online also and they have created products product services and uh, did all these activities uh, on the side base and uh, one member did something else the other member contributed something else and then combined it together and and when uh, we are also praying everyone is praying that this uh, this situation improves and we get back to the campus we have a beautiful campus and uh, so that uh, we get down to like real hardcore face to face and like uh, good interactions with where we uh, can but till the time uh, i think uh, there should not be stopping uh, any there should not be see the only limitation normally we have uh, for uh, making our ideas actually uh, succeed 
are the limitations of our mind so try to overcome those limitations so if you start thinking that okay there is no limitation i can do things i am doing all the other stuff also people are doing business people are doing like growing companies in this environment why can't i so let's let let me find a solution for that if this is the attitude i think we will find something and uh, whenever you get stuck whenever you have a, so we are the facilitators are there you can ask dr lamme or you can ask me and at the departmental level you have dr P professor parvez talib uh, professor aisha faru who are we were all like uh, trying to promote entrepreneurship and that culture so if you have you have uh, mr maz hussain who is the incubation manager so we we'll try to help you in that yes arham you have any question yes sir i wanted to ask what if uh, our startup uh, has some software based uh, services that we need to provide but and we don't have this uh, developer knowledge so how could we do it we no, are not that, uh, that uh, yes certain skills very typical kind of very like very specific kind of question aram uh, we will tackle those questions when it comes when you form teams okay so right now because you are in a course you have been given a practice here okay now if you want to sis create this at a real venture so for this course you have three members but that does not stop you from having more members in your real startup okay so maybe you can you can have a you can have someone who has a coding knowledge from who is doing some other course maybe not may, may not be fortunate to have uh, in the uh, have this learn wise but you are having that learn wise that person can complement and you can uh, you can have your startup uh, uh, someone can complement your startup from outside and be part of your startup that is not a problem so sir that is like one of the limitations because of which we can't start like do a proper and uh, a bigger startup we would need to be limited to a smaller startup why because of this so because we don't have the specific skills required as a See, like, there, i want there are, there are lot of uh, there are lot of software companies started by non technical people there are examples of that and uh, uh, but there, there is always uh, this uh, chance that you can have a technical co-founder or a coder uh, as a co-founder somewhere down the line so you need to scout for people who can who can, who, who can join forces with you There are a lot of a lot of approaches. It's not that the software companies or software ideas are only executed by uh, sof uh, software engineers. It's not like that. You will you will when you when you go into that real space, you realize that there are a lot of uh, technical companies founded by non technical people. So even if you look at Wipro as an IT service provider founded by uh, <laughs> Azim Premji, who did not have a proper degree at that time, though he got his uh, chemical engineering at the end. at the age of like 60 or something he went back to like he got his degree from stanford but uh, uh, he it was started by him because he he managed the people very well and he he got that talent skills so jack ma is a good example also i think yeah jack ma ali baba basically an e-commerce company uh, jack ma is a very good marketer and uh, but he was not uh, where is jack ma is still missing okay kanishka yes. you have you have a question uh yes yes sir i want to ask that uh, if it's a practice venture so we are not going to make a real startup or uh, like we have to do it only on papers or we have to do it in a real way it, it, it is it is it is an exercise through which you are learning things see a real startup there are a lot of mistakes people do when they make start, when they, when you start your on your own so what this course is helping you is basically building those skills for that real startup okay now on that learn wise platform whatever you have to do real work if you want to convert that into a real startup there is no one who is stopping you okay once you say for example register your company and go for like a private trade up a private limited company start take all the registration and start having real customers there is no problem what really happens like in the in the startup journey people think what 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 uh, sometimes this is a this is a uh, people think that okay 
I just register a company and I start my business. This, this, this does not work like this. In reality, what happens, there is a lot of soul searching which is done. And in fact, a lot of experimentation which is done before you get the product or your service right for the market. So what this course is helping you do it as a practice, but if you want to launch it for uh, in the real world, please go, go ahead and that is what we are for. That is what we are promoting, that you should go and launch it ultimately. But what I'm okay. saying that don't launch it and do, then do mistakes. Try to, still you will make mistakes, still you will learn from that, but try to basically learn before, side by side and also launch it. That's what this course is about. Yes, okay. Keshu. Sir, we are in the initial stage of this startup and I just wanted to know that what's your opinion on that, that uh, it should be a specific idea or it should be something which could be similar to other startups. Now, so I'd like, let me start the course. Let me start the course. Uh, if we keep on like uh, uh, this question will come that what kind of, uh, let me just share my screen with you and I will uh, show you that how this course is, is designed. Can all of you see, see this learn wise? Okay. Yes. So all, all of you also yes. have this dashboard. Okay. So like, for example, this is a dashboard. Your dashboard will be slightly different from my dashboard. Okay. So you will have chapters completed, quizzes, milestones. This is the same. I think you also will have this. Okay. So let's say, for example, I start this uh, for the... So you also get this content here, like we are getting. Okay. So what this content is about, this is this whole content has been divided into uh, different, different lessons. Okay. So the, the first lesson is self discovery, discovering yourself. Okay. So what we will cover today, then you have opportunity discovery. Now, this is a question. Uh, this is an answer to your question that in each of these lessons, there are certain other things which you will cover. Say, for example, I click on. So first is in the self discovery, you have finding your flow effectuation. So a little bit of effectuation has been talked about by uh, Mr. Jivani. We'll talk about this. Then you have opportunity discovery that how do you identify a problem which is worth solving? How do you look for solutions? What are the ways in which you can do it? So let the time come for you to get your idea validated and then you come to the customer and solution. Okay. How do you identify the customer? Is it so easy that you get, you will get the customer? No. If it has been so easy, why 99% of the companies fail every year? The nine, there are thousand products which are, uh, products which are launched every year, but only few products basically click at the end. Why is it so? So try to understand the process. Okay. Some, there are some tools which can help you in this process. Like we will value proposition and all. Then you develop the business model. Up problem solve over customer. We understand that the customer ki problem can solve over here. But will it be a real business? Business make or many elements. Hain. So what are those elements? How will I make money? How? Where do I have to pay? You will come and understand the business model. Then, business model I have made. I Customer has validate validated it. So, how we go to the customer and then think about competition in the market. Mein. Someone else is also doing the same thing or similar thing. Okay. How do you basically do that? So, there is a whole this chapter of validation. Okay. There are some things which we will cover in this product market fit. Okay. How does product market fit? And then, comes the money part. Money part, what, are the, what is revenue? Price, how do you product? Ko? Profitability, how do you get it? Little, little Phir, say for example, you don't have the money to start. How, what are the initial funding, financing options which you have? The first question was, where will money come from? Or will the Foundation not give it? The not giving money. But what it will do, it will help you in that process. That you will get to that point, Mile, se milega, uske raste there is this, there is a, there are two kinds of lessons in all of this. There is core, core to compulsory hai karna, hai? and there is flex. Flex are, are like, which is flexible. You can do it. 
I would suggest if you are really serious about entrepreneurship, please do the flex. Okay, but I will not be able to cover everything in your uh, uh, in the in the class. Then things about marketing and sales. That is lesson number eight. Okay, what is positioning? What is branding? What are channels of marketing? What is sales planning? Okay, these are all things. Then this support is flex. Basically, it was earlier part of it. Like, how do you track the project? Kaise karte hai? So, for example, project tracking, hai, project management, these are all things. It's flexed. Ho gaya hai. Okay? So, this, these are all. And lastly, team building and hiring. The question, Arham, you had. Okay? Now, we have a rough way to make a team that is what we have. It's in our class. This is a limited team. Hai. But, we have a limited team. If say for example you want to go ahead and launch it you may need some more skills you may require some more skills you may require some more experience how do you do that how do you because your startup any startup is not going to pay the big bucks which say for example is is being paid by companies like uh, uh, amazon or or flipkart and all these companies so how do you basically get people to work with you so all of these things will be covered in this Okay, so this is the flow of this course. So in this course, what will happen that you have videos. Say for example, let us see the first one. Okay, so the first lesson is about finding your flow. So there is a video which sometimes I will play in the class. Sometimes I will ask you to see or see it on your own. I would request everyone that if you if if you are really into entrepreneurship. So I, I, as we are going through the lessons, try to watch the videos even before the class. Some of the videos, and then there is a student handout. Some of the things which are done at personal level, like finding your flow. It's a personal activity you will do. Okay, but then say for example, I go to the next. There is a there is a effectuation. There are two videos here, and there is a student handout. So what I will ask you after showing you the videos, I am showing you the concept, taking up your queries. I will ask you that you go and download this handout, and now form your own uh, Google Meet or Zoom class among your friends, among your PV friends, and discuss this and fill this. And I have also created a Google Classroom for you. The assignment is your milestone. Jo hai, wo to aapko yahi submit karna hai. Dekh rahe upar, under tab PV milestones. Okay, wo to yahi submit karna. Isi platform ke andar. But the exercises jo hongi. The exercises which we will cover, say for example, the effectuation exercise. हमने कहा आपसे कि आप क्लास के बाद ये करिए एक्सरसाइज. Then as a team you upload this exercise in the Google Class. Okay, as it is. कि आपकी टीम नेम ये है and this is the form finally you derive after discussion के बाद this is what you got out. This is the key takeaway from this. So this is how we will do this course. Okay, any doubt, any query here till this is stage. all right so let me just start this course today and let me just cover few things today and then i'll i'll, I'll leave you uh, for this the very first thing in entrepreneurship or for doing anything in life is to understand it what is what is the thing what are things which you like really which you really are passionate about so here is a concept which is called the concept of flow and this this concept of flow is basically talks about identifying your passion Okay, so let us look at this video first, and then we will have this uh, a little bit more on this. Hi there, and welcome. We are back with a basic program in entrepreneurship. I am Rajiv, and I will be with you as you learn some new concepts. In this session, we will continue this journey of self-discovery. And complete some concrete tasks that are part of every entrepreneur's journey. So let's get started. I presume you are familiar with Pokemon, a fictional character around which there is a huge video game industry today. The creator of Pokemon is a person of Japanese origin, Satoshi Tajiri. As a child and later as a young adult, 
Satoshi was always lost in the world of insects, bugs, comic books, and animation. The fictional world was his passion and interest. Later in life, as an adult, he created a fictional bug-like creature, the Pokemon, which turned out to be a huge winning business idea. You may all know that the creator of Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck is Walt Disney. What you may not know is this: as a child, Walt Disney was fascinated with nature and animals. He would often get lost observing nature, or become completely immersed in drawing pictures of animals. And this interest and passion is reflected in the business he set up, Walt Disney Productions. What is important to note from these stories is that a childhood passion became the basic idea for a successful business. The experience, the feeling of getting immersed in something you love doing, like Satoshi Tajiri or Walt Disney did. as children is described by psychologists as flow a person is said to be in the state of flow when they do something they love typically the person will lose track of time get immersed in what they are doing and will not need to be pushed by someone to do it here is a very important point don't confuse flow with leisure activities You know those which you do in order to relax or take a break from serious work. Let me explain with a few examples. When a musician plays music or listens to music, he's learning, growing, improving his or her skill. Music in this case is work for the musician. Yet he loves it and he enjoys it. But for an ordinary person, music may be a break. It's not work. It is relaxation from normal work. Therefore, we can say that the ordinary person is not in a state of flow when he listens to music. Similarly, a game for a professional tennis player is serious stuff, but he enjoys it. However, for someone who plays the game during the weekends in order to relax, it is not serious stuff. In case you are wondering what flow has to do with entrepreneurship, let me explain. to become a successful entrepreneur love and passion for what you do is very important passion for something motivates you and helps you to persuade people to invest in you and your idea so as the first concrete step towards setting up a venture let's complete an activity that is designed to help you discover your passion or your flow activity so i hope all of you got this uh, very nice point which dr rajiv roy has made okay that state of flow is something i think if we can find that state of flow for us and i think uh, uh, it is a bliss that and that state of flow is something how to identify it by asking certain questions so this basically uh, this activity is a personal activity which each one of you should do okay find yourself that okay your area of interest may be many so for example you may like playing cricket also you may like say video games also you may like certain things other thing also somebody may like painting also somebody may like some craft work also so it may be many areas of interest but one of the major i think uh, differentiator between whether it is a state of flow whether it can be called a state of flow or just a leisure activity is the first one you lose proc track of time while doing this one this is one or it's not the only one i lose track of time when i'm say playing cricket say so but that does not mean i have the requisite skills also to do this and i take the initiative that uh, and i i i am not pushed to do this i grab every opportunity to improve in that and that is where i think i lack i do not take every opportunity of like improving in cricket otherwise i would have been in say in some team at least playing ipl and even if this activity is challenging i enjoy taking up the challenge okay so try to basically figure out for yourself which are which is where you can say that okay you have entered a state of flow so this is kind of a a personal uh peeking into yourself to understand this okay so this is the first stage and i think i, I will uh, give you this activity on your own you can you, you should do this activity on your own and i am giving you this uh, like 
you don't have to submit this on Google Classroom. Okay, this is your personal activity. You do it. If, say, for example, you want, you are having any doubt regarding this, you can like consult the facilitators, me and Dr. Lamet. Okay. So this is uh, this is the first thing. Now, the very important thing to today, what we are going to learn, we are going to learn a very very important. In fact, one of the most fundamental concept for entrepreneurship and that is a concept called effectuation. Now, I want all of you to learn this effectuation by heart. If you want to become an entrepreneur, banna hain, so please remember this effectuation by heart. What is effectuation? Let me just give you one example. Uh, let, let me just give you how this all effectuation is also called the entrepreneurial process or you can say how this entrepreneurial process uh, kaise bana. say for example ek, how does an entrepreneur solves the problem and how does an entrepreneur approaches a problem jab ye sawal kisi entrepreneur se pucha jata hai so the most of the time the answer uh, the answer is not straightforward. The, uh, the entrepreneur will give you all different kinds of answers and uh, some people may say that um, they just uh, thought that this is this is the right way to do it and all. Even entrepreneurs are not able to explain this process of entrepreneurship. So that is where actually there is a researcher by the name of Dr. Saras Saraswati. And she is uh, a very, very famous uh, professor of entrepreneurship in uh, I think in University of Virginia, uh, Babson College of Entrepreneurship, uh, Babson College. So it's a very famous entrepreneurship uh, institute in the world. And Dr. Saras Saraswati was basically a research scholar or a PhD student of a Nobel Prize winner, winner professor, Professor Herbert Simon, uh, who is also called the father of uh, modern information theory and all communication models and all. Herbert Simon. So what uh, she did during her research, what she did, she selected a group of entrepreneurs who are expert entrepreneurs, like Jinone, who have uh, already established companies, not more than one company, qualifying criteria, kuch lagaya, select karne ke liye, sample liya, and uh, who, who, have, uh, like, who have developed something of their own from ground up and he has certain level, they have reached certain level, say for example, certain revenue or certain uh, make a mark, mark for themselves as an entrepreneur and what they did what she did she gave them she gave uh, them a long uh, say 50 or 100 questions which a typical entrepreneur faces jab aap apna startup kholte hain the typical kind of questions a typical kind of problems a typical entrepreneur faces to unhone unko ikhatta kiya aur uska ek unko bana ke diya और उनसे कहा कि now you have to think aloud think aloud एक टेक्निक है कि जब आप जो सोच रहे हैं वो आप बोलें सामने वाले से या आप सिर्फ कैमरा के सामने बोलें और वो रिकॉर्ड होता रहेगा कि आप ये प्रॉब्लम कैसे सॉल्व कर रहे हैं थिंकिंग अलाउड सो वो प्रॉब्लम्स उनके सामने थी दे दे बेसिकली सॉल्व दैट प्रॉब्लम्स वन बाय वन एंड दे अपना थॉट प्रोसेस उन्होंने मतलब बेसिकली लिखा कि कैसे दे हैव अप्रोच दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हेन she got all that data from all these entrepreneurs together, pooled together, and she started analyzing that. Okay, is there a pattern in that? So she realized that there are basically five principles which all of these entrepreneurs have been using. Sirf paanch wo principle hain jo ke use karte hain har problem ko approach karne ke liye. And they end up like solving that problem and how do they approach. So there are five principles. And those principles, basically, there was a science behind finding out that five principles. It was very simple because five principles research condensed. And that became the five principles of effectuation. Okay. So let us look at the videos here and uh, we will try to understand that what is effectuation and what are these principles. Do you think all these entrepreneurs started with billionaires, made their venture a success? Do you think these entrepreneurs have a similar thought process? If yes, what could be that thought process? 
Dr. Sara Saraswati is a well-known entrepreneurship expert. She wondered about this very thought process and to understand this, she met and interviewed many entrepreneurs. She came up with a term to describe the entrepreneurial thought process, effectuation. So what exactly is effectuation? It is a set of common sense principles that entrepreneurs apply to face challenges. It focuses on starting with what is doable as against predetermined goals. It is a framework that helps entrepreneurs think and make decisions. In short, it is the mindset and the practical approach that you need to adopt to become an entrepreneur. To understand effectuation, it is also important to understand what it is not. It is not some sort of a formula that you will apply to start a business. And it does not imply that entrepreneurs don't plan. Let's go a little deeper and learn about the principles of effectuation. Dr. Saras talks about five principles. The first principle is bird in hand or start with your means. The second one is affordable loss or focus on the downside risk. The third principle is lemonade or leverage contingencies. The fourth principle is patchwork quilt or form partnerships. The fifth and last principle is pilot in the plane or control versus predict. Okay, so let me just uh, let me just see. So there's a lot of research behind all of this, and it comes down to five common sense principles which entrepreneurs use to solve problems or to face challenges. The first one is bird in hand. What is bird in hand? Ye bird in hand kya hai? You must have read this idiom or, uh, or the saying that a bird in hand is better than two in a bush. Okay, so jo aapke means hai, jo aapke past hai, that is bird in hand. Aapke haath mein cheeze hai. Now that does not mean it does not have a literal meaning, but what it what it means is that what are your means? Aap, what, what are the say for example means mein what can be the skills? What can what what aapke paas kaun sa skill hai? Aapke network mein kaun log hai? Whom do you know, say for example? So start with the things around you. Okay. Start with your means. That is the first bird in hand. Bird principle. Second is affordable loss. Affordable loss means what you can afford to lose. We have always had this in, 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 in our mind is that entrepreneurs take a lot of risks. Risk lete entrepreneurs. But none of the entrepreneurs take the risk which is not affordable. They always calculate the downside. Downside calculate karte. So that is affordable loss. Lose only take risk on the things which you can afford to lose. Then comes the lemonade. Lemonade comes from a famous saying that when life gives you lemon, makes make lemonade out of it. So if say for example there is a contingency, pandemic chal raha hai. Think about something. Okay, can you leverage this? I met one one student. AMU student actually he is uh, uh, right now I don't think he's enrolled in some course but he had passed out last passed his uh, graduation last year he during this pandemic he started the a business of uh, delivering of this medicines and he's no the business model is similar to netmed and banmg and all these things but it's slightly different it's kind of a hyper local kind of when but uh, he did so he leveraged that contingency Okay, so leveraging contingency is very important. Then comes the patchwork quilt. Form partnerships. Form partnerships, like the question which Aram had. Okay, we don't have that the coding skills right now. So can you can you can you find out some person who can who can also who can who is a natural coder, maybe a good coder? Can you form partnership with that person? Patchwork quilt. So jo ek quilt hai, usme patchwork hua hua hai. Okay, that is kind of how you how you make your business grow. You basically form partnerships with people, and then pilot in the plane. Pilot in the plane means a pilot has plane ke andar, and the plane starts crashing. What happens? Can the pilot predict that plane will crash? No. 
pilot always does what the what the pilot can control okay he will try his best to land the plane as safely as possible okay you don't worry about what is uncontrollable you try to control things which are under your control instead of predicting okay whether ye aisa hoga ye hoga weather prediction pilot ka kaam nahi hota pilot ka kaam hota hai control what is controllable so that is how entrepreneurs think entrepreneurs think do, do not think that okay uh, kal ko modi ji ye kar denge to economy mein ye ho jayega no no entrepreneur does not make these kind of predictions okay entrepreneurs focus on what is controllable what they can control themselves all right so let us look at the examples here well, very beautiful examples in the next video just very quickly and Let's look at five entrepreneur stories to see how they use effectuation principles to create businesses. Let's start with Nerdy Academy. Nerdy Academy is a home tutoring service provider in Raipur in India. The founders wanted to set up an edtech venture, which would provide an online and mobile app platform for tutors and students. Unfortunately, they did not have either funding. or access to technology so what did they do they looked at what they had in hand since they were in college they had many friends and other people in the network who wanted to earn more by giving tuition to school students they also knew the parents of several school going children who required such a service all they did was bring these two together by mapping people from the two pools they were able to offer a one to one tutoring service which was completely offline and focused on their town alone today nerdy academy has over 200 tutors and about 1000 students registered with them this illustrates the effectuation principle bird in hand and this is common sense isn't it all it means is you start with what you have rather than hunting down for resources technology etc let's move on to entrepreneur kevin de wit based out of oregon usa he started a venture called agilix which extracts crude oil from discarded plastic waste thus helping to recycle plastic waste and putting it to good use today it is a multi million dollar company but how did david start his venture well he started based on what he had learned in his 20 years in the chemical industry he saw an opportunity for making money out of trash by applying his knowledge in science but he didn't start with a big bank rather he set up a small and basic new fill recycle unit which grew over the years to decide on how much money he could spend and how much more to invest he asked himself one simple question what could he afford to lose this is the second effectuation principle and is known as affordable loss expert entrepreneurs can limit risk by understanding what they can afford to lose at each step they do not look for large all or nothing kind of opportunities in other words they do not gamble expert entrepreneurs also believe in the saying when life gives you lemons make lemonade that's what george crumb did At the time, he was a chef in an elegant New York resort and was facing flak over his French fries, which his guests complained were too thick and not crispy enough. So, to play a joke on them, he cut his fries so thin that people wouldn't be able to eat them with a fork. And lo and behold, potato chips were born. This is the third principle of effectuation, the lemonade principle. The mantra is to leverage contingencies and turn unpleasant surprises, in other words, problems, into new opportunities. But leveraging contingencies alone is not enough to make your venture a success. Leveraging your networks and forming strategic partnerships is equally important. Who hasn't heard of PayPal? 
when PayPal discovered that they were losing out on customers because there were some websites that did not accept PayPal payments directly, they formed a partnership with MasterCard. This led to the development and launch of VeriSign, a PayPal secure card service that allows customers to make payments on websites that do not accept PayPal directly by generating a unique single-use MasterCard number for each account. Again, in 2012, PayPal announced its partnership with Discover Card to enter the offline retail market where they could use Discover Card's existing network across 7 million stores. This is the essence of the fourth effectuation principle, the patchwork quilt or crazy quilt. Here, entrepreneurs collaborate with various types of partners who are willing to pre-commit rather than search for potential partners who might not be available or be as motivated. Networking is the mantra here. Accumulate as many stakeholders to create the future and reduce uncertainty. Entrepreneurs are always looking to reduce uncertainties. And to do that, they want to write their own future and be their own bosses. That's what Belgium's Els Van Houten, CEO of Roos Productions, did. She started Dress Your Dog a totally unique concept where children could make clothes for their Barbies themselves. When she found significant growth opportunities for Dress Your Doll in the US market, a market with a dramatically different retail network, she seized that opportunity and then started their own workshop for US customers without second thoughts. She became her own pilot. This is the fifth principle of effectuation, the pilot in the plane. Where the entrepreneurs don't feel the need to predict the future as long as they control it and steer their own path. So, are you ready to steer your own aircraft? What are you waiting for? Get ready, get going. So, these are some very, very nice motivating stories and uh, motivating case studies of entrepreneurs who have applied these principles. So, I would, uh, what I'll request all of you to remember these five principles, which is bird in hand, affordable loss, uh, lemonade, crazy quilt and pilot in the plane. So, these are the five principles as, a, as an entrepreneur, you should always be, it will be your at his heart and soul for solving any problem. Now, with this, uh, uh, we are going to end the class today, but there is an assignment, there is an activity for all of you. What you have to do is that this is the effectuation. First, take your take stock of your means handout, which you will get inside your learn wise. Okay, when you will go through this video of effectuation, there is a this activity sheet is there and it is a very simple activity where you have to apply this bird in hand on yourself okay so you can do it individually and discuss among your group so say for example if each member of the group does it separately and then you all combine together so you can see that this 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 activity like kitna sara ho jayega isme whom i know what do i know what do i know uh, these, these are different kinds and whom do i know people in my network so do not hesitate in writing all of these things. You never know what can work for you. Okay. So be elaborate in this activity. So this is a very simple activity. Every entrepreneur does this. First, taking stock of your means. What do you know about yourself? Who do you know? Who do you know? What is your passion? What are the skills you have? Okay. So when three people will do it together, so you can imagine that uh, how, how great it will be. Okay, so it is ki iski ek follow up activity or hai. say you, you, you think about any three entrepreneurs in around yourself and think about that what how did they leverage the bird in hand? Unhone kaise bird in hand ko, uh, use ki apne principles. Okay, so this is the activity. So you have to submit this as a team. Okay, jab aap pehle apna, apna discussion kar le, aap, aapas mein kar le, final job bana hai. Uh, you, you take this out, convert it into a word file or create another, say, word, word document out of it. I don't care. 
and then you submit it on the Google Classroom. Okay, so this you do it by the end of Saturday. Okay, so this is uh, this is uh, what what it is. Uh, there is also uh, I think uh, in the LearnWise there is uh, another uh, important thing. Uh, which I would suggest again. I will not cover that in the class. You can do it on your own. Which is in the lesson one, section five. Okay, which is team formation. Lesson one, section five. You can see this team formation. So what it it will help you. आपके आप आपस का जो process है तीन लोगों का. Okay, as far as your team is concerned. that will describe that how you can assign roles among each other okay so this is an activity which you have to do it yourself okay this is completely up to you you just have to inform me okay okay ye hum hamara ceo this is the ceo this is a, this is the responsibility of the other person this is a marketing person this is the responsibility there is a finance person among all of us so say for example i will look into the hr things and the finance things i will the other person will look as the overall operations or something else so whatever depending on your own startup you think about and use this all right so with this uh, i i'll i'll leave you and to form and whenever you get time you will form your own uh, class and discuss it among yourself and then submit this uh, by the end of saturday uh, as a group and you don't have to submit on the assignment tag you just submit on the main main uh, google classroom uh, Uh, the post as a post okay thank you sir so if there's any doubt any query re required regarding this please ask otherwise we will uh, end the session all right so i think there is lot of inspiration there is lot of uh, silence some also i think there is lot of soul searching that's what i i i would like to assume about you so you are all thinkers and you're all Uh, reflective people so please think about these things and all uh, try to do this and uh, that's what it say that entrepreneurship is not for the weak hearted okay so do not uh, this is a start of a journey so be as motivated and this motivation only you can like bring uh, to 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 your to your venture okay so uh, best of luck and if there is any doubt any query you can uh, contact us uh, lame dr lame or uh, me uh so uh, so see you in the next session okay take care